I think my, maybe my mother said to herself, maybe I should, you know, Lee really likes movies. I should every week take him to a movie. So regardless of what, what was playing, my mother took me to see something in the cinema. And I love that. And it wasn't just kids' movies. <laughs> I was seven. My mother took me to see Alien at the drive-in, which was thrilling because I felt like I was seeing a horror movie. That, you know, I remember 101 Dalmatians was playing on the other screen at the drive-in. And I saw space and I said, mom, turn, let's turn the car. I want to watch that movie. It kind of looks like Star Wars. And it was Gillian, which is a thrill. It wasn't that I saw Apocalypse Now, I think maybe that I thought of art. Um, I thought of the seventh art. <laughs> I thought of movies as a, an art form. And it wasn't until all three Star Wars films were completed. The first three, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. When those were done, I started watching the making of documentaries that came out and they were fantastic i remember when indiana jones and the last crusade was out about indiana jones and the making of temple of doom and return of the jedi we watched it repeatedly and how they took a they took apart 35 millimeter cameras still cameras and turned them into motion and put motion picture film through the cameras all that kind of stuff just was thrilling to me as a kid and seeing apocalypse now and thinking about changing up camera placement. I remember seeing the, you hear a helicopter, but you see you see uh, the, the fan in the hotel room over the bed. And I thought to myself, that's not a ho- that's not a helicopter blade, that's a fan. I gotta say too, when I was in high school, I afforded my own video camera and I, I made short films. A lot of that was inspired by Monty Python. I found myself engaged in Monty Python's uh, humor, cl- clever humor and how not everything, uh, funny about Monty Python was was said. It was what what you saw. It was visual humor. I, I would gravitate to Jackie Chan first because he his movies were out here first. But when I discovered Jackie Chan, I said to my dad, "Where do I find more Jackie Chan movies that he made in China?" And he took me to Chinatown, and I used to go to Chinatown and go through the shoe boxes underneath the kitchen in the basement and go through old movies or movies released just weeks ago. They were put in shoeboxes, put downstairs because no one was renting old movies anymore. Then going through the shoeboxes, looking for movies in the 80s and 90s. That <clears throat> when I went to Carlton, I didn't pick up a camera for four years. And then so when I was out of Carlton, I really wanted to make a movie. So I joined IFCO, the Independent Filmmakers Corp of Ottawa, made a short film there, made another short film, then started making a feature, started get, getting my films in the film festivals. I took off in the Mayfair. I hid in the Mayfair for 10 years because I didn't want to make those movies anymore. Now I'm back making the movies I loved making when I was younger. I'm back making movies, financing them myself and just having, you know, shooting on the weekends and having a good old time. And I think I'm making a better film now than I was with a million dollar budget. (laughs) Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. I'm showing it in Los Angeles. I'm going to do a screening this Saturday night on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, it's really exciting when you start writing something and then you start filming and it's really exciting to be a part of something but it's a lot of work you got to really keep it exciting to get to the end I find and keep it exciting the way to keep it exciting is making a learning experience always try to learn something making film where film isn't art it's 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 film is film is um, film is like a barbecue (laughs) It tastes good for a minute, and then it's gone. My name is Lee DeMar. I'm a filmmaker, an independent filmmaker in Ottawa. And I'm also part owner and programmer at the Mayfair Theatre. I hope to see you guys at the cinema soon.